we had a good summer. Uh, we wanted to build off the momentum uh, that we had in the second half last year where we had played real good hockey um, for the most part down the stretch. And the guys responded with a good summer, uh, which I'm very happy about. Um, they followed out with a good September. We've worked hard. They've trained hard. In the exhibition game for the win, I thought it was sloppy. Uh, some of that's expected because it's an exhibition. Some of it is uh, things that we have to take more value in and, and make improvements upon. Expectations outside this program. I mean, obviously, you guys picked one media poll, two in the media poll. Uh, obviously, ranked in the USHL play. How do you temper those expectations? Uh, ours are every bit as high or higher, so I don't think we're tempering them. Um, they are what they are. We expected that we'd be ranked uh, fairly high just based on what we finished last year and, and what we returned. Um, and now I'm uh, not worried about it. We don't put a lot of stock in it. Uh, we value what we value uh, based on what we believe in that locker room, the things we try to be about every day. For us, we're just trying to meet our expectations, who we are, what our identity is, and what our commitment to that identity is on a daily basis. Let's talk a little bit about what you guys are returning a lot, and a lot of it's in the, the sophomore and junior classes right there. Not quite the senior maybe, but you still have to have this kind of team. I know we're not young. No, we're, we're old enough and experienced enough to challenge for championships this year and challenge for important things at the end of the season. Uh, so even though uh, the bulk of our team resides in our sophomore and junior class, as you mentioned, those guys, almost all of them, have played really key minutes for us since the beginning of their freshman season. So those guys have the experience. They've been through ups and downs. They, you know, some of those guys went through the real struggle of two years ago, and uh, seniors went through the national tournament. So we have the experience necessary, uh, even though we only have five seniors. Uh, but our, our five seniors are also very strong in leadership capacity. Uh, all five have done a great job starting from last spring, even maybe even last January, as they gave leadership support to CJ uh, and then through the summer. Yeah, and let's not forget about Scotty Diebold, uh, you know, who we recruited uh, to be a number one as well. Uh, he's very capable of that, and I think he showed that in the exhibition game on Saturday. Uh, but you know, Jason uh, is deservedly our, our number one. Um, you know, and, and the season he put together last year as a freshman, and he's backed that up uh, with a real high work ethic. He's a very humble kid. Very humble young man that, that goes about his daily business in a real, real professional way. Uh, and, and that's a good recipe for success. You guys finished last season pretty successful. Are you looking to build off that and hope that is a little bit of momentum for you guys this year? Yeah, definitely. We want to build off what, what we did last year, but uh, I mean, we, we want to be better than that. You know, we we had an early exit and we want to learn from that and you know, come to the range every day prepared to, to work and do better than we did last year. How much does that early exit fuel you guys or have, how much did it in the offseason? Well, it, it really hurts getting, getting kicked out so early, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely motivation to, to work hard every day coming to the rink and just doing our best knowing that if we don't, that could happen again. There are high, after the season that you had last year, kind of high expectations for you heading into this year. Is that any extra pressure for you or how do you, how do you handle that? Um, I mean, that was last year. You know, this is a new year, and I know that I got to put in the work again to have a successful season. It's not just going to happen just because I had a good year last year. So, I mean, I don't really look too much at that stuff because it was last year. So, just got to go with the mentality that I came in with last year. What about expectations on this team? Pick first or second in the league? I think a lot of teams or players would shy away from talking about that. But when we're talking to Seth, he said you guys are really embracing the high expectations of the business team. Yeah, you know what? It's good to get recognized and know that we, we have a good quality team, but I don't think we look too closely at that stuff. It's more just every day trying to be better, you know, and then practice after practice, working hard, and the games will take care of themselves. How do you work around the unique role of Nick Bayon played for you last year? Well, I think the, the best way is that I've never coached a player like him before, so that's nothing. It makes us a more normal-looking team. Um, Nick evolved his role into what we affectionately called as a rover. He was 
not a defenseman. We didn't classify him as that. He was, a, he was like a midfielder, for lack of a better term. Um, and we put him at the front of the net. The power play, he didn't run the power play. He was at the front of the net, the power play. He was in the offensive zone. So, he, you don't replace guys like that. Like, you don't replace CJ Lee's leadership. You just, other young men step into situations, and then they have to deliver at what they're doing. You know? Matt Tenorio will be a different captain than CJ Lee. It doesn't mean Matt Tenorio will be less of a captain. Um, you know, Bo Dolan, Curtis Miner, guys like that will start eating the bulk of the power play minutes as the defenseman. Uh, it doesn't mean they have to do it. Quite you know, frankly, it's exactly the opposite. I had that conversation with Curtis, and I don't want him to play like McNeil, and I want Curtis Leonard to be a better version of the So will your power play have a different identity this year? Yeah. Will well, will coach you differently? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Nolan Graham, our assistant coach, he's in charge of the power play. Uh, will you coach him differently? I don't think it'll be dramatically no, differently because at the end of the day, it wasn't run through that. What do, Nick did, he scored goals in the front of the net. And what Nick did that was the most important of anything is he won puck battles at an incredibly high level to give us second, third, and fourth offensive zone chances in a power play shift. That will be what we need to replace with guys like Matt Kennedy, Mark McGowan, who will be more of the net front guys uh, that need to be able to go win battles with two bucks and then get back into the hard end. You know, finished second place last year, but the uh, tough end of the season losing the round of quarterfinals. How much does that fuel your fire going into this season? Uh, a good amount. It's something we definitely kept in mind over the summer and over our time here. Uh, we feel like we got a good team, but uh, you know, nothing's given to you. We got to work hard and make sure we're earning everything that we get this year. You said you guys aren't really shying away from the high expectations. You said you seem to be embracing where your defense. Uh, yeah, he's right with that. We, uh, you know, we put high expectations on ourselves, and you know, we come every day to chase those expectations, and hopefully, every day we're getting one step closer to being where we want to be. You lose a little bit of leadership, but how is the process of replacing that going? Uh, it's going real well so far. We have uh, a lot of older guys now on our team, our seniors, and there's a, you know, the junior class is big. Uh, so our class and their class uh, talks a lot, and we, uh, you know, we're on the same page, and we're just making things go as smooth as we can transitioning into this year. Just was talking about the depth of this team and being the strength of, of this team. Can you, can you comment on that? Uh, yeah, I think you know it gives us a balanced attack, and we're you know we feel confident that we can put four lines out there in any situation, and any one of those lines is going to get the job done. So, you know, it just makes things easy for coach and it makes things easy for everyone. There's not too much pressure on, you know, any one guy or any one line. We're just, you know, going to go out there and get things done together. Of course, you have Jason back in that. How much confidence do you guys have going out to the ice knowing that he's back there? Huge. He had a huge uh, freshman year. And, you know, we're not trying to put, that, you know, pressure on Jason or anything. We're just letting him come and work every day. And, you know, we, uh, you know he's going to play well for us. He's shown that. I know you said the loss to Brown feels you, but does the way that you finished last season as strong as you finished it, does that give you guys confidence and kind of excitement going into this year? Uh, you know, it gives us confidence that, you know, we know we can be there again, but uh, the expectation we have for ourselves is higher than that this year. And uh, we're really just focusing on day by day, you know, getting better every day we come to practice, lift, whatever it be. And, you know, just confidence that that's going to take us where we want to go, just working day by day.